ago on the banks of the river Weser in Germany lay a little town called Hamlin. The people of Hamlin were happy and content. Most of them were farmers or fishermen. They earned their livelihood by working very hard on their farms and fishing in the many little streams. As the years went by, the people became rich and prosperous. Suddenly, one day, their peace was shattered. The entire town was invaded by rats. At first, the cats of Hamlin had a party. But soon they got tired. The rats were multiplying too fast. Even the cats ran away to hide from the army of rats. The rats attacked the barns and storehouses. They gnawed at the wood. They gnawed at clothes. They gnawed at everything that came in their way. They even bit babies in their cribs. The citizens could bear it no longer. They approached the mayor of Hamlin. As the town councillors and the mayor were thinking of a plan to get rid of the rats, there was a loud knock at the door. Who can that be? They wondered. As they opened the door, they saw a tall, thin man dressed in brightly colored clothes. He had a blue feather in his tall red hat. He was carrying a golden pipe. Sirs, I have freed other towns of beetles and bats. I can rid your town of rats. I'll charge a thousand florins for this. A thousand florins? We'll give you fifty thousand if you succeed, exclaimed the mayor. The very next day, at dawn, the piper took out his pipe and began to play soft magical music. As he made his way through the lanes of Hamlin, playing on his flute, rats began scampering out from nooks and crannies, cellars and basements, gutters and pipes. There were big rats and little rats, brown rats and black rats, fat rats and thin rats. They all followed him as if it were a military parade. The piper led them away from the town till he reached the river. He continued to play as he stepped into the river and the rats followed him. By the time the piper reached the middle of the river, all the rats had drowned and been swept away by the current. The town of Hamlin was at last free of rats. The people were happy and relaxed. When the piper went to collect his reward, the mayor refused to pay him 50,000 florins. The rats are all dead now and they can never come back. So either take 50 florins or nothing at all. The piper was very angry. Pointing a finger at the mayor, he said, You will regret that you broke your promise, sir. Saying this, the piper disappeared. At dawn, the next day, the piper wound his way through the streets of Hamlin again, playing a different tune this time. All the children came out of their homes and flocked around him. He led them out of the town through a forest till they reached the foot of a huge mountain. The piper played another tune and a door opened. 
there was a huge cave inside. The children followed the piper into the cave. When the last child had entered the mountain cave, the door shut and a large boulder rolled down to block the entrance to the cave forever. Only one lame boy was left behind. He returned to Hamlin and told the citizens what had happened. The mayor and all the other citizens of Hamlin never ever broke their promise again.